Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. The kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the violent take it by what? By force. Amen. All right. Praise the Lord. Thank you for your prayers. Uh, we bless the Holy Father in your sure name. Amen. And the precious Holy Spirit. We love the Holy Spirit. It was the Royal Kakadesh. Amen. Director Merrill, uh, all the fivefold ministry, grace, giftings. We thank God for our staff, Sister Petty, Kevin, and my brother. I uh, always tease him and call him Mr. Camera Technology. Okay. We thank God for the speakers. I was blessed today. Brother Randy and Sister Deborah. It was just a blessing. How many of you were blessed? Give Jesus the praise on that. Okay. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Before we get started, I want you to turn with me to the book of Colossians chapter 1. The book of Colossians chapter 1 verse 18. Uh, we want to recognize Jesus before we discuss or talk about anything. Is that right? Okay, that's the book of Colossians chapter 1. Look at verse 18. He also is the head of his body, the church. Yeshua is the head of his body, the church, Christ. The first, uh, Seeing he is the beginning, the firstborn from among the dead, so that he alone in everything and in every respect might occupy the chief place Stand first and be preeminent. I'm reading from the Amplified Bible, and many of you know that that Yeshua has the preeminence. Is that right? He has the preeminence over everything. Before we begin to talk about demons or uh, world events, we should first recognize Yeshua. Amen. All right. Okay. I want to just clarify that with you. Now, the second thing I want to do before we get started. Oh, just bear witness with me a few minutes. Okay. The second thing I want to do, in Job chapter 22, verse 28, the Bible says, Thou shalt decree a thing, and it shall do what? Come to pass. How many of you know that there's power in your tongue? Your tongue can permeate and affect the atmosphere. Is that correct? Okay. All right. Well, I'm sensing that many of you here are, some of you are involved in some type of litigation, some type of legal litigation, whether you owe credit card debt or hands are raising already, whether you have some credit card debt, okay, or whether you have some lien holders, okay, or maybe somebody is suing you, or maybe you're involved in a lawsuit. And I just felt like, by decrees and declaration that many of you will get a breakthrough before we get into the message. Now, now if you believe that, then give Yeshua a hand praise. All right, I'm not going to have you stand because I know many of you have stood most of the day. I want you to permeate the atmosphere by repeating after me. Say, Father, in the name of Yeshua, we break, me, we break the assignments of legal matters that are being thrown against us. We cancel the petitions of our legal accusers and command them thrown out. So we decree and declare that they will be thrown out. We bind the bail preors of litigation. Oh, come on, it's sounding good in here. We come against every evil judgment, every false legality, every deception in the courts that's been applied against us to destroy our well-being. Father, we ask you to tie the jury of darkness. We petition the high courts of fields. We ask you, Father, now look up to the heaven. Say, so we're going to take it to the top. Hallelujah. We confess in the name of Yeshua that any legal fees to my case 
has been paid off by the blood of Yeshua. We cancel every conspiracy, every confederacy that was ordained from hell in legal matters against us. We bind and cast out every squatting spirit, every trespassing legal demon. We bind you and command you to go. Let the track record of your accusers bring shame on themselves. Ignite the atmosphere of justice, Father. Justice and righteousness in Yeshua name. Cause everything that is called good, evil and evil, good, right, wrong, and wrong, right. That's what the courts are doing against me, Father. Father, we confess that you will release holy angels. And we say this humbly to you. We confess that the enemy has no room for our lives. Father, release the spear of the Lord to penetrate every lie of this backward court system that's trying to bring legal accusations against me. In the name of Yeshua, say we prophesy every stairway. We prophesy and declare that the angels of the Lord will be sent to render this case null and void. All right, three more. Stay with me now. Say we bind legal infractions and distractions with the gavel of the Lord. Oh, she caught my heart. My God, man, this is real here. We declare that the vacuum of the Lord will put all demonic litigation into the vortex of hell. That's a raid against me. Now, the last one say, we stand on our legal rights as a believer. And, and we confess what Yeshua did on the tree. That settles it. That settles it. And Father, this matter, according to the courts of heaven, is closed in your case. We decree and declare right now in your sure name. Now give the Lord a praise. Come on, give him a big praise. Hallelujah. Isn't that good? This message is going to be a very troubling message. Um, I will use wisdom because of the children. I will use wisdom in my words because of the children that are here. And this is basically an, a watchman's alert. You know, in the military, being in the military, they, the lieutenant would ask you, what is your sit rep? And the word sit rep means situation report. Uh, I would say, what is the sit rep here today? Hostile. Sit rep, situation report, hostile. Now, some of the things I say, we're all adults here. And I want you to take it to heart, what we are saying. Because what we are doing is, as watchmen, we are identifying the plans and strategies of the enemy. I'm going to talk to you about a place called Oscarville and a place called Lake Lanier, Georgia. Oscarville and Lake Lanier, Georgia. But let me read some notes so you can get understand. I pray that you brought your pencil and papers. There's a city buried on the water in Lake Lanier, Georgia. Lake Lanier, Georgia is 50 miles north of Atlanta. Uh, Gene and I have passed by it many times. It's 50 miles north of Atlanta. Thousands of people come to Lake Lanier just about every year. All right, it is Georgia's biggest lake, and it is submerged with it is a very secret. Now, here's a city that's on the water. It was one time called Oscarville, but they changed the name to Lake Lanier 
when the uh, uh, Army Corps of Engineers came and loosed billions of gallons of water on top of the city. Please take notes because, because sense of God, this is going to lead you somewhere. Lake Lanier has been the site of hundreds of deaths. Lake Lanier has been the site of hundreds, okay, of deaths, even from way back in 1956. Some people believe that there, the ghosts of the victims from Lake Lanier's past, that there are demonic spirits who drag people underwater. Hmm. Now, 1912, let's go back to Oscarville. Oscarville was a prominent black town. Black barbers, black lawyers, black doctors, very prominent. Uh, but we know how Satan and his demonic, demonic activity is. There were racial evictions, there were murders, and Oscarville became a place of racial cleansing. What I'm doing basically is spiritual mapping, okay? Many folks who live close by will tell you straight up, don't go to Lake Lanier. And its death toll continues to rise this point. There have been close to a thousand deaths since the lake was created. Okay? We're talking paranormal stuff. We're talking deaths that were caused by paranormal demonic activity. Okay? Now, whether the lake is cursed or not, it depends upon you. But one thing is certain, there are some horrifying things happening in the waters of Lake Lanier. As of May of 24, I think someone drowned mysteriously. Okay? Then it goes on to talk about the Chattahoochee River that flows through that area also. Then I talk again about the African town in 1912 of Oscarville. And Oscarville, remember now, it was Oscarville before it was Lake Lanier. When, when there was the racial cleansing and, and the murders and all that took place, the Army Corps of Engineers brought in billions of gallons of water and they covered up over 20 cemeteries and covered up bodies. Listen to me, saints. We need to know something about how satanic demonic entities can come into a region and set up strongholds. This is what I'm talking about. Is that right? I'm not saying anything to offend my brothers and sisters because, hey, I love you. But what we're identifying the enemy because whether you believe it or not, we're at war. And the war activity has now taken to the waters. Okay, listen to this. Listen to, to this closely. I'm not going to read too much of that outline. There's just a lot there. I'm just going to go by as much as I can. And I'm just want, let me get to the last piece here. So you, now you have an understanding about Oscarville and Lake, Lake Lanier. Oh, this paper's so thin. You can wait a couple more. Maybe if I wet it. And there she is. All right, listen to this. Over a period of years, 98% uh, of black residents would end up even leaving their homes are being murdered if they refuse to leave their homes in Oscarville. Black property deeds were taken from them, all right, by night riders who came and did ethnic cleansing. Okay, there were thousands of people during that time that lost their lives. Over time, piece of the land would be sold to the government, and by 1950, there was a plan to build Lake Lanier was in full effect. Soon, the entire town of Oscarville would be underwater. Okay, intentionally put underwater. Flooded in conjunction with the Buford Dam to support the growing demand for a water supply to nearby cities. Then this huge, monstrous reservoir was created. Okay, and what it did, the water covered farmland, it, it displaced uh, hundreds of families, it just covered up the cemeteries and bodies that were out there that the water just covered it up because the Army Corps of Engineers said that we need the water to, to, to funnel into Atlanta. Now, as a result of billions of gallons of water, something happened to Oscarville. Curses began to manifest in that water region. All right? 
In other words, the paranormal began to manifest. In other words, marine spirits or marine demons, and we're going to get some scriptures later, began to manifest themselves. And from 1956 on through, strange things started happening. Now, here's some of the things that happened. There was a lady of the lake who, her and three other ladies, drove across the bridge to the Lake Lanier, and the car was satanically thrown into the waters. And some of these same people now are being seen as the lady of the lake wearing a long, beautiful dress or looking like a vaporous apparition. There were unrelocated graves and restless spirits. The Army Corps of Engineers left graves unrelocated in 1956, and the bodies were never recovered. Okay? Then there's a legend of Mrs. Delamay Parker. Uh, her car skidded off the bridge. Then there's an underwater church bell that rings on the water. Okay? All right, we're going to get to some scriptures on, on that in just a few. Then there's a haunted sunken house. There's rumors of a sunken houseboat underwater that wasn't properly uh, there before the lake was flooded. Legend has it that this house is haunted by spirits of former residents. Then there's a mysterious Indian burial ground that was covered up. And I think Brother Randy talked a little bit about the Choctaw, if I'm correct in my, in my research, and I think it was uh, Choctaw Reservation in that region. Reports suggest that the Indian burial ground was disturbed in the lake's creation. This desecration is believed to be a source of paranormal activity in the vicinity. Many people are blaming it on the water covering the, the, the Indian graves, activating curses, and activating demonic spirits. All right, then there are supernatural whirlpools in the water at Lake Lanier. Some of the most deadly whirlpools that I've ever seen. Some survivors speak of near drownings at Lake Lanier. Some, some underwater divers report also of seeing hands on the water and legs on the water that don't move. Body parts of human beings that don't move, okay? Divers report of eerie feelings on the water. They say the water is uh, pretty blue to the top, but as you go down deep, it turns jet black. Many divers have said they've seen the graves and tombstones of many of the bodies that were never recovered or relocated. Divers say they have seen human body parts that didn't move in the waters. People believe they died drowning, cried out about, uh, about let's say, people believe that they died drowning while, they was, while hands reached them. There's some eyewitness report of Lake Lanier where people have seen swimmers crying for help. Somebody help me. Some, it's some hands pulling my legs, pulling my feet on the water. Somebody help me. And they see the people no more. Okay? Uh, dragging them deep down in the depths. Divers talked about seeing, seeing uh, many, so many eerie type vaporous apparitions or demonic spirits. There were reports of a brother, and uh, two brothers on a boat, and a demonic being jumped from the water and snatched one of the brothers, took him under water. He was never seen again. Well, you may say, well, brother, you sound like a sci-fi channel. You sound like the Twilight Zone. Saints of God, satanic activity had increased. The church, is the ecclesia, is just focused on the hip, on first and second heaven and the earth realm. But guess what? We have a major problem. We have a sit rep hostile in the waters that are around us. And we're going to get to some scriptures to confirm that in just a minute. Other people talking about looking down in the water. Others talk about seeing body parts float to the top and then vanish. Since 1952 now, or close to a thousand people have died strangely. Hear me out. Now, there are rumors of strange drowning, people being dragged underwater again, underwater, uh, uh, underwater hands grabbing to this present day. We're in a time, saints of God, and I'm not trying to bring mass hysteria, but we're in a time, if you want to ask me, well, before we get into the waters, we need to pray. Okay? I'm not trying to cause any mass hysteria. 
for even for our children. We need to we need to pray. We need to cover them. All right, apply the blood upon our children and even our loved ones. Is that right? Because the satanic activity is intensifying in the waters. Okay, turn with me to Genesis chapter 1. Let's look at verses 1 and 2. Genesis chapter 1, verses what? Verse 1. In the beginning, God prepared, formed, fashioned, and created the heavens and the earth. I'm coming from the Amplified Bible. In the beginning, God prepared, formed, fashioned, and created the heavens and the earth. Now look at verse 2. The earth was without form and an empty waste, and darkness was upon the face of the very great deep. The Spirit of God was moving. I love this. The Spirit of God was moving and hovering and brooding over the face of the waters. Now notice something right there where it says, darkness was upon what? The face of the deep. God is so 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 intelligent. He's given us some prophetic insight in these two verses. If you look up the word darkness was upon the face of the, the deep. If you look up the word darkness in Hebrew, that's two eight two uh twenty eight twenty two in the Strong's Concordance. That word darkness in Hebrew means darkness and misery, and destruction, and death, and night obscurity, and darkness was upon the face of the earth. That means that as darkness was upon the face of the deep, that means the waters were chaotic. That also means that the water, the waters can be chaotic. The waters can be bound by death and destruction and misery. Yes, the waters can have a climate of what? Chaos. Let me say that again. The darkness can be upon the waters causing chaos, death, and destruction. A chaotic climate of death. Difficult to understand. Can Satan, can demonic activity extend to the waters? The answer is yes. I grew up in Florida on the beach. We get out of church, we go to the beach. Water canals. Many of the Indians cursed a lot of the water canals. A lot of the water inlets were under curses. Spoken word curses. And there were sacrifices that were done in many of the waters. Now, look again at the word deep. It also means abyss or surging mass of water. It also means disorder, darkness, destruction, and chaos. What are we saying, saints? We are saying that satanic, demonic activity can extend to the oceans, it can extend to the seas, and to the lakes, and even the rivers. What are we saying? We're saying that chaos and death and destruction and demonic portals, hear me out, demonic portals, saints of God, marine spirits, guess what, can be activated and manifesting in the water. What do I believe about Lake Lanier? I believe because of those racial murders and because of the ethnic cleansing, and I, and I believe because of the bloodshed that the soil was contaminated. The soil was defiled. The soil was polluted. And I believe when blood is shed, it's nothing but an open portal for a demonic stronghold to come and set up house. Hello, saints of God. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 2, please. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 2, coming from the, the Amplified Bible. Satanic activity in the heavenlies. Look what it says. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 2, in which at one time you walk habitually, you are following the course and fashions of this world. You are under the sway, the sway of the tendency of this present age Following the prince of the ruler of the air, you are obedient to and under the control of a demon spirit. You are under the control of a demon spirit that still constantly works in the sons of disobedient. If you are a son of disobedient, then there's a demon spirits that operate within you. The careless, the rebellious, and the unbelieving who go against the purposes of God. Satan is the prince of the power of the air, and warfare extends where? Into the heavenlies. All right, look at 1 Peter 5, 8. 
First Peter chapter 5, 8. Many of you are familiar with that verse. Satanic activity extends to the earth realm. Satanic activity extends where? To the earth realm. Be well balanced, temperate, sober mind. Be vigilant and cautious at all times, saints. Listen, stop taking this situation to play with. You are at war. I hear so many people saying in church, we got the power. Well, you got a nicotine demon manifest. All right, you know where I'm going. From that enemy of yours, the devil roams like a roaring lion with fierce angles seeking someone to seize upon and devour. All right, now, look at Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Look at the book of Revelation chapter what? Look what it says. Satanic activity extends to the waters. It extends to the chaotic waters that was talked about in Genesis 1, 1 and 2. Therefore be glad, exult, O heavens, and you that dwell in them. But look what it says. But woe to the earth and sea. Woe to the earth and what? Sea. Or woe to the earth and waters. Water, saints. Look what it says. For the devil have come down to you in fierce anger because he knoweth that his time is short. Satanic activity is not only intensifying in the heavenlies, not only intensifying in the earth realm, satanic activity is intensifying where? It is intensifying in the waters. Now, this is what the word of God says. Look what it says. Where? In the oceans, in the seas, and in the lakes. I believe prophetically, saints of God, that all those sailors wasn't drunk when they said they saw sea serpents. I don't believe they were intoxicated when they say they saw sirens, these screaming demons that looked like beautiful women that came about a ship. I don't believe all these sailors were drunk when they saw hydras, multi-headed dragons coming up out of the water, or even Leviathan. I don't believe that these people were, were, had, had lost their marbles. I believe, listen, if they didn't actually see that, then guess what? Maybe they had to cross over into the spiritual realm and begin to be an eyewitness to these demonic creatures in the waters. I have a pastor friend in the Bahamas. He tells me all the time in Kingston and Freeport, Freeport, Bahamas. He said, there are people when I was a young boy and even today that walk the beach at night and are never seen again. He told a story of Lucas, uh, was that Lucas, 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 the giant octopus in that region, around Bimini in those islands. And he talked about the UFOs and sightings that they're seeing. He said, but you can't tell everybody that because they'll think you're crazy. Listen, it's time to get equipped for battle. Come on, saints. The waters are becoming death and destruction and misery. The waters are becoming what? Chaotic. Turn to the book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 4. The book of Revelation, chapter 12, what? It says, his tail swept across the sky. He's talking about the dragon's tail, Satan's tail. He swept across the sky and dragged down a third of the stars, a third of the angels. He took his tail span and flam, slung them down. And slung them down to the earth, and the dragon stationed himself in front of the woman who was about to be delivered, so that he might devour her child as soon as she brought forth that baby. How many of you know, saints of God, I hear so many ministers that talk about, well, you have to bind the devil. You do. I agree. Satanic activity can start in the womb. Hello, saints of God. How many people I know that got Freemasonry on their bloodline and their reports of the baby having the navel cord wrapped around the neck because in Freemasonry there's a say, satanic ritual that they use around the neck with a rope. We're in a time. We're in a time, saints of God. Look what it says, his tail. That word tail in the Greek is and I was very embarrassed when I saw what the Greek word for dragon tail is. The Marines always say, hula. 
Double O R A H. When you look in the Greek for Satan's tail, uh, it's Ura. I said, Lord, I won't say that no more. Amen? That's what it is, Ura. So the tail of the serpent, the tail of the dragon, flung down one third of the stars. Many of the rebellious angels that were kicked out of heaven, where did the majority of them land? They not only landed in the earth, but they landed in the waters. They landed where? In the seas. Satanic hierarchies in the air and the land and the sea. There are rural demonic spirits on the oceanic coast, on, uh, in the lakes, and even the waters canals. Talk to some of the people in the Caribbean. They'll tell you about a spirit by the name of the queen of the coast. Talk to some of the people in the Caribbean. They'll tell you about mermaids. One man gave a report that he was like at the night for meeting this woman. And every morning by 5 o'clock, the woman had to go, had to depart from him. And he said he wanted to marry this woman. Uh, he decided to follow her one night. He followed her right to the beach, and she faded into the waters. We're in a time, saints of God, where we must know our authority. We must know who we are in Christ. We must be sensitive in the spirit, saints of God, to war with the enemy. Now, here's a blockbuster scripture for you. Turn to Job chapter 26, verse 5. Job chapter 26, verse what? The shades of the dead tremble underneath the waters. The shades of the dead tremble underneath the waters and their inhabitants. The Hebrew word for shades, H7496, mean the dead, the deceased, spirit, ghosts of the dead. But the contemporary English version clears it up. Here's what it says. Remember the terrible trembling of those in the wall of the dead below the mighty ocean. Blood things are formed on the ocean. Under the oceans of the dead. This is what Job is saying, saints of God. So it is safe for me to tell you there is definitely a lot of demonic activities in the water. It is safe for me to tell you there are satanic kingdoms underwater. Not only the Bermuda Triangle, not only Germany. Hello, saints. There are other places that have satanic activity under the waters. The devil have come down having great wrath because he knows his what? Here we have Oscarville, victim of racial murders or ethnic cleansing. Here we have Oscarville, the Army Corps of Engineers that came in and just poured billions of gallons of water over the graves and the bodies. Here we have Oscarville. Now all of a sudden, we got demonic paranormal activity, drowning people, dragging them in the water, Killing people. What? Your cars being thrown off bridges. Hello, saints. And all this activity, and the church is not in warfare with it. They just sit back and say, I'm not going to no Lake Lanier. Last Sunday night, I was so amazed. We do our Zoom meetings on Sunday nights. And there was a lady by the name of Sister Ann. She said, I'm glad you're talking about Lake Lanier because. I said, I'm talking about it because I'm going to bring that to the camp. She said, well, I want to tell you that my three-year-old baby died, drowned in Lake Lanier. Man, that touched my heart so. That brought tears to my eyes. That brought tears to God permit that. He will give you confirmation about what he wants you to bring. The lady gave a confession. My baby, I said, what happened? She said, I don't know. She said, but I do know that the, the older people will warn you. They say people be swimming across that water and a black being, dark, hideous, demonic being will grab their feet and legs and they will scream out, somebody's grabbing me. Is it time to break? Is it time to break curses over the waters? Yes. Yes, not only is it time to redeem the land, but it's time to redeem the waters. Marine kingdom symptoms. What are some of the symptoms of, of, 
of marine spirits manifesting? Well, they can manifest in your dreams. A little Jamaican girl told me in Jamaica one time, Mapin, I think it was St. Elizabeth or Mapin. She said, Minister Williams, I'm always dreaming about drowning. I'm always dreaming about being in the water, drowning. I knew right then what it was. Waters. Dreaming to a death and dying. I knew it was a marine spirit. We broke curses off her, and, and, and Lord Jesus freed that young girl, and she had no more those type of dreams. Some of the symptoms of what? Constantly swimming or drowning in the dream. Oppression. All oppression does not come from the earth realm. It comes from the waters. It, it, listen, there can be a curse on the waters. Accidents. Look at that bridge. People throw off the bridge strangely. Three years ago. How many of you know the Lord will take care of you? Hmm? How many of you know the Holy Spirit will shield you in your ignorance? I'm talking about myself. How he's protecting me many times in my ignorance. Jean and I was coming from, we had went to Illinois to drop the, the grandbaby off. And we were, we were coming near Chattanooga. And it was a bridge. And as I looked at this bridge, I was running maybe 70, 75. I'm not going to tell on myself. And as I looked on this bridge, I saw this huge, tall, Nephilim-like being. It was huge, about 10 feet tall. And I told Jean, I said, stop praying, stop praying, stop praying. I see a giant on the bridge. She looked at me, the giant. I said, there's a giant on that bridge. I said, stop praying. And as we got up under the bridge, I saw that thing leap off the bridge as if to leap on top of our car. Saints of God, I'm telling you the truth. When Jay started praying, and I started praying, and I got from under that bridge, that thing leaped off the bridge. The lady behind us, engine exploded. That she did it was Oh, my God. That engine exploded. I looked through my rearview mirror, fire everywhere. I slammed that. I had the tundra at that time. I slammed those bricks down, and before I could get out to run back there, some of the men had pulled off the side of the road, and they started dragging her out of way from that fire. Would everybody believe that? No. A deliverance ministry would. Is that right? Listen, the enemy was trying to bring a premature death through accident, death, and destruction. But God says what? It's not time. Psalm 31, 15. My times are in thy will. And Acts 13. David did not die until he had fulfilled his purpose. Oh, my God, saints of God. Ecclesiastes talks about what? Why should you die before the time? Hello, saints. When you're in this welfare ministry, you are a threat to the satanic kingdom. You, you Listen, you're in his bullseye. He hates you. You're a target. I hear believers sometimes at this camp say, I don't do uh, everything is happening to me. I do. I can tell you why everything is happening to me. As long as you're standing out here talking about, I'll bind you, lust spirit, and you're defeating Satan's kingdom, you get ready for warfare. Because he's going to come after you also. All right. Another symptom of marine spirit is a shortage of blood. Vampirism. They're drainers. I grew up on the beach. I grew up around waters. I can tell you a lot about that salt water. Vampirism is another one. Sudden loss of business could be that these marine spirits have come from the waters into the earth realm to attack you in your business or attack your ecclesia. Premature death through murder has the case with Lake Lanier, Georgia. 50 miles away, which was one time Oscarville. When blood is shed, it set up strongholds in the soil, and it gives the enemy a legal right to do what? Set up shop. Look what it says. A spinster, an older woman craving for a young man. Isn't that, isn't that a funny word? A spinster. What about a bachelorhood? These spirits will keep you from getting married. They have you lusting and craving for sexual immorality. 
barrenness of the womb, sudden loss of pregnancy, miscarriage. Saints, we have our eyes in the earth realm more than we have our eyes in the waters. We're not paying attention to the waters. And the enemy is what? Incognito. Look what it says here. Spirit husband, spirit wife. Look at this here. Feelings of hatred and murder. Symptoms here. Fear of certain waters. Constant disappearance of one person or longer. Longings. When I was down in Fort Lauderdale, how many times I put my wallet down and my wallet went from matter to antimatter? I thought at one time I was losing my mind. So I began to talk to some of the Haitians that lived down there. And the Haitians said, no, man, I tell you, man, that's not what the case, man. There was a demon spirit, man, that can shift matter to antimatter. And I've learned, well, what's his name? I forgot his name. The enemy can do what? He can shift you over longer to the point if you're not steadfast and unmovable and you're sure, you can just about go off in the deep end. Thoughts of death. I hear more grown men now saying, I feel like I'm going to die. Well, you spoke it. You just might. Proverbs 18, 21. Life and death is real. Thoughts of death. Okay. Here's something big. You say, Brother Colonel, you got on a watch and you got your wedding ring on. You got in the Bahamas, a lot of those seashells, <laughs> seashell ornaments can be a form of witchcraft, whereas witches and warlocks can work on you through those ornaments. I think that was said today, which is very good. Okay. Marine spirits, incubus, succubus. Many of you are familiar with that. What about divorce and what? Separation. All right, let's go. I'm going to say it again. I keep repeating myself. I want to. Oscarville, covered, a city covered under water, which is now what? Lake Lanier, Georgia. All right. Oscarville, a place of bloodshed. Oscarville, a horrible history of racial murders, racial cleansing, and evictions of black people from their homeland, which opened a demonic portal where demonic entities infiltrated and now setting up strongholds and committing all types of murders. Some people are so unchurched to some people are so bound, the first thing that they'll say, well, I know what it is. A man told me, he said, but our ancestors are getting revenge. I said, brother, you deceived? Ain't no ancestors getting no revenge on nobody. Those are nothing but demonic spirits. Jesus he says, what? The dead know nothing. Is that right? They know nothing. You know, and it got so so many people deceived with that, with that racial foolishness. Your ancestors coming back to put a whammy on somebody. Let's keep going, saints. Turn to Numbers chapter 35, verse 33. The book of Numbers chapter 35, verse 33. What am I giving? It's not a long message. I'll give you a watchman alert. Take the fight to the water. Hmm? Take the fight to the waters. All right, look at, look at it again. That's Numbers chapter 35, verse what? Okay. It says, so shall you not pollute the land. So shall you not pollute the land wherein you are. Now, this is awesome. For blood, it defileth the land. What does the blood do? It defileth the land. Say it again. Get it in you. And the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. But the land can be cleansed through repentance. Heartfelt what? Repentance. Is that right? 
cleanse repentance of the land. Look what it says. See, so you shall not pollute the land wherein you are, for blood it defileth the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. Now look at the word uh, polluted. To make profane. If something is polluted by bloodshed, it will become what? Profane. To make it what? Godless. That's why these demonic entities are coming in there because something is happening happening here with profaneness and ungodliness. And then it goes on to say, right? Oscarville was defiled. The land was profane. The blood of those deceased. The, listen, the blood cries out from the earth. Okay? The bloodshed, it caused the land to be from polluted, which is an open portal for the enemy to set up shop. For bloodshed, or blood does what? It defiles the land. Hello, saints of God. The word defile in Hebrew means the soul in a moral sense. The soul in a moral sense. It corrupts the land. It defiles the land. How many of you know that if it's unclean, then the demons can they have a legal right to set up shop? Okay? The land can be what? Polluted. Curses can be what? Activated. Hello, how many of you are listening to me? Curses can be activated. So is it safe for me to say over a thousand people are, have died supernaturally, paranormally, demonically? All oh, the information is out there. CNN grabbed it at one time. MSNBC grabbed it. A lot of personal writers are grabbing this thing. This thing is active. Sit rep is hostile. And then to have a woman come on my Zoom and say her three-year-old baby died out there in that little water, and they don't know the day what happened. All right, last page here. Please write. If you can't find a pencil and paper, pull it out, because you might need to go where you land. You right? Or that water canal in your backyard where those crappy and those bluegill are. You don't know where the Indians smoke curses in that region. Okay? All right, let's go. Coming into our end. Cleansing the land. On arrival at the property, praise the Lord first and exalt his name. So if you have some property that you believe is cursed, I had a lady call me a couple of weeks ago, said they believe that the house she's in, uh, Say demons are slamming doors. What's a poltergeist? German for noisy ghosts. I say slamming doors, and and you can hear people walking when nobody never appears to the door. Okay, all right. On the arrival of the property, praise the Lord and do what? Exalt. Confess the sins that we know or suspect that took place on the property. When I was in Mexico, we were told, what are you sensing in this region? The team was asked, what are you sensing here? You're sensing murders? What are you sensing? Cemetery? You're sensing uh, uh, this place was a place of uh, immorality? What are you sensing? Or if you didn't know, then you could check the archives to find out what was on that property. The city archives can tell you, was that an Indian reservation there? Was a cemetery there? What was on that property? What is a demonic portal for spirits to come in and slam your doors? Do you have some personal gods in your house? Is sin in the camp? Look what it says. Confess the sins that you know or suspect that took place on the property, or God may give you fresh revelation. It may be immorality, fornication, bloodshed, or broken covenants. Isn't that good? Uh, take the Lord's Supper together. Have communion on that property. I remember uh, Miss Shirley, uh, uh, she's not here, but when she took a team into Mexico, we went up into the high mountains down with a drug cartel region. We began to prophesy against the 
the sex trafficking, child molestations, and we had communion up there, and we began to pray and war against those ruler spirits over that region after she, we had done some spiritual mapping. Okay? Take the Lord's Supper together. Hebrews 9, 26. Numbers 35, 33. Hebrews 9, 26, Numbers 35, 33. Remember that the land is punished for its sin. Leviticus 18, 25. When there's sin in the land, the land can be punished or brought upon the judgment, which gives the demons a legal right to operate. Okay? Uh, the act, by the act of faith in the shed blood of Christ on God's land in order to make amends for the iniquity and the blemishes. Please write, saints. You may have a situation that may come up in the future. All right? And don't be like my a friend of mine in Kentucky. He told me, he said, I called a deliverance minister over here. The, the, and he said that he would come, but he would charge me uh, $25,000. I said, what demon costs $25,000? That's an expensive demon. That must, must be one of the, those Beverly Hills, the Hollywood Hills demons. I said, man, you don't you be deceived. He said, well, I was desperate for a situation. I said, you had $25,000 to pay somebody for, for, for a demon? He said, I was desperate. I said, well, brother, get out of your, your, your despondency. You know, that is not God. Amends for that part area. If there was any sin, broken covenants, any bloodshed, immorality, idolatry, begin to make amends. You know, repentance, uh, sins of the fathers, sins of uh, forgiveness to the Lord for whatever happened there, you know, and those who were responsible. Okay? Thank Jesus for his presence and call for the protection of the Lord and his angels. Always seek protection from the Lord and his what? Because you don't know what you're about to run up against, saints of God. Is that right? All right. All right. Declare that the curse over that land is what? Broken. Now I got you right. Hallelujah. All right. Declare that the curse over the land is what? Pull up. Oh, you don't have to do this. Because I don't want nobody here thinking it was witchcraft. Uh, Miss Shirley, what we did, we did communion. And we poured the blood over that land region that we were, where we were. Okay? There's nothing wrong with that. And we released the word of God into those regions. Now, some people get sticks and put scriptures on them that apply to that region, but some people don't. Some people just have communion. All right, dedicate the land to the Lord and command all the evil spirits to go. At their hole is broken. Command those spirits to go. Their hole is what? Okay, then ask the, the Lord for angels to be posted around the perimeter of the land. Ask the Lord for holy angels to be what? Posted around the perimeter of the land. All right. Then this says place the stakes with scriptures on them. What well, you follow how the Spirit of God is leading you. Some people write scriptures on these little, little popsicle sticks and push them down into the ground. But you listen to how God is leading you. Okay? All right. I'll, don't go back and say, well, Brother Colonel told me to go get some popsicles and put some scripture on the popsicles and stick them in the ground, you know. You know don't, don't, don't blame that on me, okay? All right. Pray protection over yourselves. Is that right? Know that no retaliation, that no revenge, that no retribution will do what? Will come against you. And begin to read scripture on the blood of Yeshua. Isn't that good? I'll tell you what, saints, after reading this, this book, man, man, it, it makes after reading this material, it makes you want to get by about a hundred soldiers. Let's go to Lake Lanier. All right. Okay, praise the Lord. Uh, Brother Weird, I don't know, Brother Weird, I have to get you at another time on, on, on that one. Okay. All right. Then it says, scriptural basis for cleansing the land. Let me give you some scriptures that the Bible say that the land can be cleansed. All right. Leviticus chapter 25, verse 23 and 24. Leviticus chapter 25, verse what? 23 and 24. Let you do your own homework. 
All right. Exodus chapter 9, verse 1 and 5. Exodus chapter 9, verses what? Psalms 24. Psalms what? 24. All right. And I always remember this. Wherever the land is, God still owns the land. All right. All right. Genesis 128. Genesis 128. Deuteronomy 11, chapter 11, verse 10 and 12. Okay. All right. All right, let me give you some more scriptures. Jesus, again, and stewardship scriptures. Matthew chapter 20, verse 1 through 16. Matthew chapter 20, verses 1 through what? Okay, 1 through 16. Hello. Okay, Joshua chapter 7, verse 10 and 21. Joshua chapter 7, verse 10 and 21. Okay. All right, we're getting ready to close here in a few minutes. All right, and then maybe we can step in, into believing the Lord for some medical. I love to minister in the area of medical healing. Okay? All right. Why is the land defiled? Idolatry. Please write this down. That land can be defiled because of idolatry. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 6 and 10. Jeremiah chapter 3, verses what? All right. Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 18. Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 18, why is the land defiled? It can be defiled because of what? Sexual sin. Okay? Leviticus chapter 18, verse 1 and 23. Leviticus chapter 18, verses what? Okay, beautiful. Uh, oh, isn't that something? Gay man. God loves them too. Homosexuality. Leviticus 18, chapter 18, verse 22. Causes the land perverse spirits, cause the land to be defiled. Leviticus 18, 22, Leviticus 19 and 39. Oh, here's a good one. Ezekiel chapter 16, verse 25 and 27. All right. Bloodshed. Okay. Ezekiel chapter 16, verse 25 and 27. All right. What about bloodshed? Bloodshed can do what? Defile the land. Okay, uh, broken covenants. Uh, Isaiah chapter 24, verse 5 and 6. Isaiah chapter 24, verses what? Uh, 5 and 6. Okay, broken covenants, a curse consuming the earth. All right, uh, Genesis 3, releasing a curse. Releasing a curse, Genesis 3 means to, to bind with a spell or to him in with obstacles. Okay, Genesis 3, releasing curses. A four, judgment on the land, Ezekiel 14, verse 30 and 13 and 20. Ezekiel chapter 14, verse 13 and 20. All right, I have about three, two more, three more. Famine. Famine can defile the land. Uh, ecological devastation. War can defile the land. Disease can also defile the land. Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. Second Chronicles chapter what? Okay. All right. Then here we go. The blessings of obedience. Uh, Leviticus chapter 26, verse 4 and 19. Leviticus chapter 26, verses what? Okay. Now, some scriptural examples of those who did cleansing of the land. First Kings 15, King Asa. First Kings 15, King Asa. All right, 2 Kings 23, Josiah. Josiah. Okay. And last but not least, 2 Chronicles chapter 29, Hezekiah. Has he what? Kaya. Okay. Now, here's what we're saying, saints of God. We're saying that what happened in Oscarville was terrible. Okay. Uh People were evicted. There was a racial cleansing. There was a lot of bloodshed. All right? People died for nothing. Then, after all those murders, you come and pour billions of gallons of water and put the whole city underwater. You know something? No regards for the dead, the cemeteries. Hello? Hello? 
other bodies in the streets, just leave them there, just pour some water on, on them, la de da de da de. Then from the, the land became contaminated, it became polluted, it became defiled. Is that right? And guess what? The enemy began to move in. How many of you know the scripture is Ecclesiastes chapter 8 or Ecclesiastes chapter 10 that says, if you break a hedge, a serpent will bite. If you break a hedge, a serpent will do what? Bite. If, if you tear down a bush, you tear down a wall, you violate God's word, guess what? A serpent will do what? He will bite. In other words, you give the enemy a legal right to come in and do what? Set up house. All right. So what we saw today here, now we got demonic portals. It's, it's making big news. I just found out, too, that they're now in the process of making a movie about it because it's one of the most saddest horror stories uh, in, in history from what I'm hearing. Okay? What it has a watchman alert, what it did for me, it gave me more insight. And I hope, hope it gives you more insight. Is that right? That when you have paranormal happenings around your beautiful split-level house, start looking for idolatry. Start looking for defilement. Is that right? Start looking for uh, 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 immorality. Start looking whether there's curses there. Start looking with the cemeteries there. Start looking for what is on that. That's an open portal for the for the booger man or the boogeyman to come and do his thing. Okay? If you were blessed by that, then give Jesus a praise. Okay. I want to pray for you. Pray for you in, in the area of uh, medical. You know, I always tease people. I say, I should have been a doctor. But that wasn't my profession. That's not what God had for me. All right, everybody, everybody right now, I want you to, to begin to pray. If, ask the Holy Spirit to show you anybody living or dead. Anybody living or dead that you hold in unforgiveness or bitterness or resentment for, whether they're living or whether they're dead, you're going to have to forgive them. It has to come from your heart. Hello. Not, not so much of your mind. You have to mean it. You have to be sincere about it. Anybody living or what? Or dead? I'm going to give you some time. I want you to begin to pray. Okay? Ask God, God to show you who is it that I'm holding bitterness? Who is it that I'm show, holding unforgiveness or any resentment for? Okay? And I want you to begin to ask the Lord that you, you want to forgive them. And release them. I'm going to give you a few minutes. Many from your heart, saints of God. So you can get some freedom. Okay? Meet it from your heart. I really enjoyed you this afternoon. I enjoyed speaking with many of you. And how many of you know you can have fun in the Lord? Is that right? Your laughing releases endorphins. Lubricates your joints. Okay? All right. You can raise your hand as soon as you raise your You can raise yourselves up as soon as you finish. Meaning with a sincere heart. If you know you're battling with that situation, then it's time that you'd be free free from that situation. Okay? All right. Father, I just bind a strong man in the heavens. Bind every rule of spirit, Matthew 18 and 18. I bind every strong man that's operating in the people. Uh, in the name of Jesus, I bind every strong man beneath our feet. I bind any type of satanic angelic interference. And, Father, I pray that you will send holy, holy angels to assist us and to help us in this deliverance. Father, your word says in Isaiah 4, verse 4, you will cleanse the daughters of Zion with the spirit of burning and the spirit of judgment. Okay? So, Father, we ask you to loose the spirit of burning, which is the Holy Spirit and the spirit of judgment on the enemy where they're set up. In Jesus' name. All right? 
All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say some things. Please don't get offended. I love you, and what I'm, we are doing is going after the enemy. Okay. All right. When I command these spirits to come out, many of you already know they can come out the top of the head, entry points, nose, sinus, coughing, or however, ears. Some of you may pass gas. You know, anywhere there's an exit point, it's okay. They're gonna come out. All right. All right. Right now, in the name of Jesus. I command to come out of the people right now in the name of Jesus. All that toxin and poison from COVID-19 shots. Come on, come on, out of there. Out of there. All the toxins and poison from the COVID vaccine vaccination. Now they'll get ready to say monkeypox. There's no monkeypox. All you've seen is residue left over from the COVID-19. So come on, out of there. There you go. Out. Come on, come on. All the poisons and toxins. Come on, poison the substance that they put in your body. Come out of the people now. Come on, out of there. Out of there now, in Jesus' name. Father, I pray the angels of the Lord will bring them out. Come on, bring them out. Bring them out. Go, in Jesus' name. I renounce all pharmacia, all false medications, all fake medications. Come on, all this fake medication, all this false medication, where there's no remedy. Come on, come on, out of the people, in the name of Jesus. Come on, breathe those things out of their shades. Go. Amphetamines, barbiturates, go, in Jesus' name. Come on, Valium, Valium, sleeping pills. Let's go. Come on, sleeping pills. Go. Go, come on, well, come on, come on. How this go? Go, go, come out of the people now. Go, there you go. Come on, breathe them out, let them go. Sleeping pills in Jesus Christ's name. Oxycondone, come on, come on. Morphine, go. Morphine is the number one killer in the nursing homes of the elderly. Come on, out of there now in the name of Jesus. Come on, bring those things out. Say, don't watch somebody else. Just get your own, own deliverance and healing. I come against right now epilepsy, fatigue, draining spirits, vampirism, anemia, Come on, bring them out, out, out in the name of Jesus. I come against hepatitis, hepatitis. Come on, hepatitis, go, go. Asthma, I break the curse of death of asthma off of you now in the name of Jesus. Come on, asthma, go, go in Jesus' name. Diabetes, chronic obst obstructive pulmonary disease, go, go in Jesus' name. Leukemia in your blood, leukemia in your blood. Come out now in Jesus' name. Bladder cancer. Bladder cancer, brain cancer, brain tumors. Come on, out of there now in Jesus' name. All right, I really want to go after that COVID-19 vaccine. All right, I command right now. Everybody give me one cough. Come on, come on, COVID-19, let's go. Come on, let's go out, out, out of there. Out of there, COVID-19, come on. All that toxin, all that poison, come on. Come on, out of there now. Come on, out of there. Out of there, all that poison and all that toxin, come out of your body. You shall live and not die and declare the glory of the Lord. You shall live and you shall not die and declare the glory of the Lord. Come on, breathe them out, let them go in Jesus' name. Asthma, let's go. Asthma, asthma, go, go, go in Jesus' name. Bone cancer, brain tumor, blood poisoning, blood poisoning. Come on, blood poisoning, blood poisoning, go. Blood poisoning, go, come on, come on, breathe those things out of there. Blood poisoning, go in the name of Jesus. Epilepsy, epilepsy, Down syndrome, go. Go, I cancer, go in Jesus' name. I come against seizure. I break the curse of seizure on your family line. Come on, out of there now in Jesus' name. Come on, seizure. Come on, out of there now in the name of Jesus. Go, 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 go in Jesus' name. I come against heart disease, heart attack, fear of heart attack. Come on, come on, fear of heart attack. Fear of death by dying of a heart attack. Come on, come on, out of there now in Jesus' name. Come on, stroke, all the stroke spirits. All the hereditary stroke spirits on your bloodline, go. Let them go. Breathe them out, saints, in Jesus' name. Come on, come on, go in Jesus' name. Headaches, migraine, migraine, headaches, go, go in Jesus' name. Heart failure, heart palpitations, heart failure, heart palpitations, go. High blood pressure, high blood pressure, go. Come on, breathe them out, go. Go in Jesus Christ's name. Go in Jesus Christ's name. Hemorrhoids, hemorrhoids, come on, hemorrhoids. Come on, hemorrhoids, go, 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 go in Jesus' name. Come on, breathe them out. I loose the spirit of burning. I loose the spirit of burning, which is the Holy Spirit. Come on, out of the people now in the name of Jesus Christ. Go, go in Jesus' name. Irritable bowel syndrome. Irritable bowel syndrome. Go in Jesus' name. Bowel disease. Bowel disease. Come on, breathe them out, saints. Breathe them out. Let those things go. Go, 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 go. Come on, out of there now in Jesus' name. Sleep apnea. Sleep apnea. The Bible says fear have torment. Come on. You're tormented at night. You're tormented. You can't sleep. Come on. Come on. Come on. Sleep apnea. Come on. 
Come on, break that curse behind that. Go, 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 sleep. I can't sleep. I can't sleep. Come on, out of there now. The Lord says he will give you sweet sleep. Come on, out of there now. Go. Break them out of there, saints. Don't be afraid. Break them out of there now in Jesus' name. I come against brain damage, cancer, tumors, cysts on the breast. Cysts on the breast. Come on. Come on, out of there now. I break that off of you, off of your breast. Come on, go. Go, go in Jesus' name. Blood clots. Blood clots on vaccinations. Blood clots from vaccinations. Come on, breathe them out, saints, in Jesus' name. Meningitis. Meningitis. Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease. Paranoia. Phobias. Go. Go in Jesus' name. Confusion. Forgetfulness. Come on. I can't remember. I'm trying to remember. Come on, forgetfulness. Go. Go in Jesus' name. Come on, breathe them out, saints. In the, breathe them out in the name of Jesus. I come against occult spirits. Come on, reach your board. Candle burning, tea leaves, tart cart reader. Come on. I break that off of your family line now in Jesus' name. Eastern Star, Freemasonry. Let's go, 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 go in Jesus' name. Mind binding spirits, mind binding, mind control. You being programmed by mass media. I break that curse of mass media mind control of every, every mind here that you will be able to think for yourself. Come on. Take that off of you now. Come on. Mass media mind control. I break that off of you now. Come on. Come on. You're going to think for yourself. Come on. Be who you are. Go. Go in Jesus' name. I come against blindness, blindness of the eyes, cataracts. I command the cataracts to dissolve. I command those cataracts to dissolve right now. Put your hands on your eyes. Cataracts dissolve. Go. Dry eyes. No moisture in the eyes. Come on. Fear of going blind. Go. Go, blindness on the bloodline. Come on, put your hand there if that applies to you. Fear of blindness, go. Nearsighted, farsighted, lazy eye. Lazy eye, that's right. Come on, out of the people. Go, let these people go. Cross eye, cross eye, dry eyes, go. In the name of Jesus. I come against lust of the eye, evil eye, witchcraft eye. Go, go in Jesus' name. All right, come on, come on, breathe them out. Deafness, ringing in the ear, 5G. 5G frequency, 5G electromagnetic frequency. You have to be ringing in your ear at night. Father, we break that off of them, and we pray the Holy Spirit will set up a blockage to that 5G frequency. Come on out of there now. Come on, saints. If that's you, put your hand on that. Come on, breathe those things out. A lot of you are in trouble, but you're trying to hold back. Come on, come on, go. Go in Jesus' name. Inner ear problems. Inner ear problems. Ear infection. Go, go, go. That's right. Come out of my brother. Come on, here your problems. Ear infection, go. Come out of my brother, go. Loss of balance, confusion, confusion, spiritual deafness, go in Jesus' name. All right, I come against problems with the nose. Problems in the nose. I can't smell. I've lost my sense of smell. Go, go in Jesus' name. Sanutitis, sanutitis, go in Jesus' name. All right, breathing problems. If you, you put your hand on your chest. Having problems trying to breathe. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Loose that. I loose that curse of death off of you. Come on. I loose that curse of death off of you for breathing problems. Go. Go. Go in Jesus Christ's name. Go. Go in Jesus Christ's name. Come on. Gum infection, tooth decay, cavities. Go. Go. Grinding your teeth at night. I break that off your child where your child lays in the bed and grind their teeth at night. Come on. You too. That's right. Come on. Bring that demon out there. Let's go. Let's go. Grinding teeth grinding. Teeth grinding. Go, go. Bring them out. Go in Jesus' name. All right, here's one. Bad breath. Bad breath. Come on, bad breath. Let's go. Out of there now. Go, go in Jesus' name. Serpent spirits. I come against every serpent spirit that lodged in your body that cause sickness. In the spine, in the vertebrae. Let's go. Come on, serpentine spirit. In the sexual organs, in the breasts. Come on. In the in the stomach. Call up in your abdomen like serpents. Come on. Come on out of there now. Serpent spirits. Go, 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 go in Jesus' name. Come on, come on, every serpentine spirit lodged in your eyeball, lodged in the top of your head. Come on, come on, out of there now. Go, saints of God. Let's give another push. Give me one call for a time. Push those things out of there. Come on, come on, out, out, out of there. Out of there, out of there, out of there now. Out of there now. Out of there now. Blabbermouth. Blabbermouth. Come on, blabbermouth. Go. Go in Jesus Christ's name. I come against drugs. I come against drugs. Reefa, Reefa, joint. Come on, come on. What's that, what's that smack they used to do? Gorilla? Well, yeah, Gorilla. Come on, come on. 
Come on out of there, heroin, go in Jesus' name. Come on, breathe them out, Satan, let them go. Go in Jesus' name. Thyroid problems, lack of iodine. Come out, thyroid. Put your hand if you're having thyroid problems. Put your hand there. Go. Come out of the people now. Come out of the people now in Jesus' name. Thyroid problems, go. Loose the people. Tonsillitis, go in the name of Jesus. Come on, spinal cord, nervous system, backbone, vertebrae. I come against bone marrow where the enemy is trying to set up in the bone marrow to stop you from getting fresh blood, pure blood. Come on, out of the bone marrow, go. Come on, out of the bone marrow, go. That's right, that's a good one, out of the bone marrow. Go in Jesus' name. Come on, go in Jesus' name. Intestinal problems, problems in the intestines. Oh, come on, in the intestines. Go, a lot of people have an intestinal problem these days. Pancreatic cancer, pancreatic cancer. Bladder problems, go in Jesus' name. Kidney problems, kidney problems. Excessive urination, excessive urination. Come on, breathe them out, saints. Come on, breathe them out, let them go. Let them go in the name of Jesus. Go, go. Clogged arteries, shingles, shingles, shingles. Come on, shingles. Shingles, go, go in Jesus' name. Come on, shingles. A lot of people are getting shingles in hospitals. Go, go in Jesus Christ's name. Go, 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 and go out of these people right now in Jesus' name. Accident prone, allergies. Go in angina, rooted in fear and anxiety. Go, breathe them out and let them go. Let them go in Jesus Christ's name. All right. All right. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. Well, give Jesus a praise. Come on, give him a praise. Yes. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Father, we just pray that, uh, oh, yes, let's loose, let's loose. Father, we loose the spirit of adoption. They've been adopted into the fold of, of Jesus Christ, of Yeshua. We loose the gifts of the Spirit, discerning of the Spirit, word of knowledge, word of wisdom. We command it to come out of dormancy and be activated into their lives. We loose the peace of God. We loose the joy of the Lord, Father, even into their lives. Father, in Jesus' name. And Father, we just, we bind that spirit of the leprechaun that's stealing the money. And, and Father, that leprechaun spirit, you little imp, we bind you in Jesus' name, command you to go. And Father, we loosen a portal for finances into their lives. Uh, and that we, Father, we loose the blessings of the Lord upon these people. Father, that you will bless them, Lord. And Father, we loose the Abrahamic covenant, Lord. Let your face be upon them day and night. In the name of Jesus, we bind any backlash. Any demonic attacks when they exit this building, the vehicles or the families, the children, we pray for divine protection, deliverance, and healing upon the people and safety, the anointing of preservation. Psalms 91, Psalm 27, protection upon these people as they go. And Father, in the areas where the enemy was released, we pray the Holy Spirit was set up shop. We pray the areas where the enemy fled that the Holy Spirit will set up camp. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. All right, here we go. We're getting ready to end. I just want to say to you, saints of God, what you heard today, it applies to your, if something going on in your home, your property, your place of business, now you know how to take action. You know what to discern. You know what to look for. Is that right? Uh, uh, I want you to also do some research on Lake Lanier, okay? You just go on your, your uh, YouTube and look up Oscarville, Lake Lanier. It was very tragic what happened there. But guess what? We learned a lot of warfare, how to attack the enemy from it. Okay? All right. Now, if, you, if you've been blessed by what you heard today, don't exalt my flesh. Give Jesus a praise. Give him a praise.